storm activity this week, which will bring our temperatures down. We're also, of course, tracking Tropical Depression 3. I was pointing out the National Hurricane Center has designated it a depression because it has a closed low pressure center. Finally, they are predicting it will become Tropical Storm. Brett would likely be the name by later tonight and then into the next couple of days may continue strengthening. Now it's moving over very warm water, so we knew that if this were able to get going, it would likely be able to strengthen. There's not much wind shear as well. So that's why you see this strengthening trend through the middle of the week. Now, once it approaches the Caribbean Sea, potentially as a category one hurricane by then, it will have a chance to do some different things and models are showing different things, which I'll show you in a second. But it will also either way be encountering a bit more wind shear from an upper trough, so that may cause it to decrease whether it moves to the west or to the north. Again, really warm sea surface temperatures, warm water for this time of year, especially much above average for this point in the year across the part of the Atlantic it will be moving over. Now this is the European model. Take these models with a grain of salt. This is just a system barely getting going, but you can see that this model takes it into the Caribbean Sea and then has it weakening with a lot of shear here. Now let me show you the GFS model. This is a different one. Of course, our big global models that we're showing you here has it moving to the west, then curving off to the north, and this has been a trend. Now, there's even another system out behind it, and that one has a chance for development too. So if you're tracking kind of two little spots here, the GFS does have both of them going off to the north. I just wanted to point out besides the depression, this one has already become tropical depression three. There's another wave behind it with a medium chance of developing, but this one looking like it might take a little bit more northward course and not looking as aggressively developing uh, as far as the models go. So just a quick check on all that. Of course, it's something we're going to watch. The next name on the list would be Brett and then Cindy. Uh, but at this point, it's no threat to it. It's still way out there. We still have many, many days to track it. It looks like if it moves into the Caribbean, they would be able to do so if it's a little weaker. So even if it does move into the Caribbean, could be a weaker system. If it curves off to the north, that would be the trend it could take if it gets a little bit stronger. So just something to watch, something to talk about in the next several days. Needless to say, we'll track it really closely and keep you updated on everything.